Algebra 1, number 1.8a. We're going to talk about reasoning strategies and the strategy draw a diagram. There are several strategies that we can use to solve problems. We ask ourselves, what are we trying to find? And what information or data did it give us? Have we ever solved a problem like this before? We come up with a plan and which strategy can we use to solve it? How can we use the strategy correctly? We figure out the answer and check it. What's the answer? Does it make sense? Did we write it clearly and use labels if needed? So there's several strategies that can be used. We can draw a diagram. We can make a table. We can solve a simpler problem. We can work backwards. We can even guess, check, and then revise our guess. So in this one, we're going to draw a diagram. That's the strategy we're going to use. So sometimes when trying to solve a problem, we need to visualize what's happening, and drawing a diagram will help. The diagram will help us make a mental picture of what we need to solve the problem. We read the problem. We gather the information. We decide how to use the information. We draw a diagram, and then we use that diagram to write an equation. We solve the equation and check it. So Bob is climbing a rope. It's a very long rope. It could be 100 feet. We don't know how long the rope is. But for every five feet he climbs up, he slips back down one foot. So how many feet will he have climbed by the time he reaches 24 feet up? So I drew a diagram, and I made a rope. I even made Bob. So I put increments on the rope to count. I did it by twos. Here's two feet, four feet, six feet, eight feet. See? And it goes all the way up to 24, and then there's 25 feet. So I drew a green line to show climbing for positive and a red line arrow down for every time he slips down. Because remember what it says, for every five feet he climbs up, he slips back down one, okay? So he was at zero and he climbed up five feet and that got him to the five mark, see? But then he slipped down one, so it brought him to four. From four, he climbed up five, now he's at nine, but he slipped down one, now he's at eight. Then he climbed up five, eight and five is 13, but he slid back down one, so he's at 12. Then he climbed five feet, 12 plus five is 17, but he slid down one, so now he's at 16. Then he climbed up five feet, 16 plus five is 21, but then he slipped back down one, so now he's at 20. Then he climbed up five feet more and slipped down, and now he's at 24 feet. So how many feet did he really end up climbing up? How many feet up did he go? Not counting the red ones, just the green ones. So what we do is we count how many times we have five. One, two, three, four, five, six times he climbed five feet. So that gives us our equation. He did five feet six times. He climbed 30 feet. Poor Bob had to climb 30 feet just to get to the 24 foot up on the rope at that mark. See? He lost a foot every single time he did it. But that helped us write the equation. And it would have been very hard to figure this out without drawing a diagram. See? So it helped us figure out going up, coming back, going up, coming back. See? All right, I got another one for you. Emma and Lisa are building a fence for their backyard that measures 96 feet by 120 feet. And they need to install fence posts in each corner and every eight feet. How many fence posts do they need? They have to figure out how many they need to buy before going to the lumber yard, right? So what we do is we make a big square and we put 96 feet on one side and 120 feet on the other. And we knew that we had to put one in each corner. It says they need to install a fence post in each corner. So I did that first. So I put this one here and this one here. And I put this one down here and I put this one down here. Okay, and I said, okay, well, if this is 96 feet across and they need a fence post every eight feet, see, every eight feet, what I did was I divided 96 by eight. And eight goes into nine one time. I did my subtraction and I got one. I dropped the six down. Eight goes into 16 two times. I got my zero remainder, so it's 12. So I know I needed 12 fence posts along this line. Okay, I already have the corner one, so that's two that are already there. So I needed to squeeze 10 in between here evenly. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See? So there's 12, just like the 8 goes into 96 12 times. So I know they're every 8 feet. So I did the same thing at the bottom. See? 
I've got one through 12 for the fence posts. But then I had to figure out the 120 foot side. So I put eight into 120 to see how many times it would go in and I got 15. See, I do my subtraction, I get a zero. So it goes in 15 times. So I need 15 fence posts on this side and 15 on this side, but there's already one here because of the corner. See? So I really had to fit in 13 fence posts on this side because there was already ones on the corner. See that? So I fit 13 in on this side. So what did I get? I got 12 fence posts and 12 fence posts. So that's 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 13. And that got me 24 plus 26, which is 50 fence posts. Now there's a very good chance if I didn't draw this, I would have forgotten that the corners are taken for this side and this side, that we use it twice, see? You don't count the corners twice by accident. This one right here can be counted towards this row of fence posts, and it can be counted towards this row of fence posts because it could be on this side or this side, and same with each corner, see? So you might have ended up buying two or four more fence posts than you needed because you forgot that the corners, see? So drawing a diagram can help figure something out and see if it makes sense and see how we did step-by-step -step reasoning. And even this one, we did step-by-step -step reasoning to figure it out. Okay, so that's strategy and drawing a diagram. And hopefully this will help you with the word problems in your book. So remember what we need to do up here, the strategies, Okay, and remember how to do the plan, all right? You want to make sure you it makes sense and that you use labels if you have to, okay? We're going to go on to 1.9a, and we're going to talk about formulas. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.